Hey guys, US Pokemaster here. Uh, I'm about to show you guys how to, the best way to catch a shiny Mimikyu. Um, I've seen a few videos online and I feel like they're missing a couple steps that would make it easier for you guys. So here's what I think is the best route. Um, just to show you here, I've been doing this for a while trying to get a shiny Mimikyu myself. And I have gotten uh, seven shiny Mimikyus so far here, as you can see. Um, unfortunately for me, all my Mimikyu that I've gotten are the wrong nature. So, uh, I'm going to try and catch another one with you guys here. And here is what I think is the best strategy. So to get started, you're going to need a Pangoro. A lot of people will tell you to use a Pokemon that has Soak um, because Mimic uses a Ghost type and you can't hit it with False Swipe. Well, Pangoro has a special ability Scrappy, so he can use False Swipe all the time without having to use Soak. Uh, second, you want to have a Smeargle with the move Recycle, or just any Pokemon with Recycle, but everybody loves Smeargle. Uh, you're going to have an Umbreon with the ability Synchronize there, and uh, you're going to want him to have Substitute. And I think that's all that really matters on him. Uh, you're going to need a, a Delphox with uh, Switcheroo or just any Pokemon with Switcheroo, honestly. And I got a Lycanroc here that I use Stealth Rocks for if my Pokemon aren't tough enough to one-hit KO with Mimikyu. My Umbreon is tough enough, so I won't be needing him. But if you, if you need some help, you can throw out some Stealth Rocks and that'll, you know, take some of their life away and give you a little advantage. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do, now you got your team assembled, uh, is go into your bag and get yourself a Lepaberry. There you go, Lepaberry. You want to give that to the Pokemon you have that has Switcheroo. Alright? Cool. Now, really quick here, I'm just going to cure my little guys up because I didn't notice that I wasn't at full health. All right, so the next step is you're gonna to wanna to take your Charizard and fly to right down here. All right, we're gonna go straight down to the left right around the corner if you've never been here you'll have to be a trainer or two no big deal pause the video I'll wait for you go up here a little mimic you hanging out there kind of an indicator you're gonna want to wander on through here all right that is not a Mimikyu. Also, I want to leave with Umbreon. So Umbreon has Synchronize and he's adamant. Synchronize gives you a 50% chance that whatever Pokemon shows up will be the same nature. So adamant. Um, that's why we have Umbreon up front, because I would like to get an adamant shiny Mimikyu. So. Also not a Mimikyu. In case you guys are wondering all the Pokemon in here that are not Mimikyu. Those are two of them. I do have a pretty cool shiny Umbreon, but I don't have an adamant one. Because you don't really want Umbreon to be adamant generally. You want bold or calm we will find a mimic you here folks don't worry wander around here by the toys that's where they're gonna show up at least that's what I found there you go so we got our Mimikyu now for the setup 
So the first thing you're gonna want to do is switch to your Smeargle or whatever Pokemon again that has Recycle. Now that's what you want them to do, Mimic, but you want to first do Recycle. So you're just gonna keep spamming Recycle until he does Mimic, because we need him to learn Recycle. Of course, now he's gonna be a little shit. He does not want to cooperate. Come on, Mimic, you. You want to do Mimic. There we go. All right. So now that you got him to do Mimic, now Mimic has completely turned into Recycle for the rest of the match. So your next step is switch out Delphox here. You want to do fight, switcheroo. That is going to give Mimikyu your Lepaberry. So now with Recycle on a Lepaberry, he's going to continuously recycle his moves. So now that you got that done, you want to switch to Pangoro. Or any scrappy Pokemon that knows a move, false swipe. And you're just gonna fall swipe this dude until he is at one HP. Of course, you got the disguise first. That is the obnoxious part about trying to get a shiny Mimikyu. You have to hit everyone twice, no matter how tough you are. There is a way around that. There are moves that will kill him in one hit. Uh, I think Moon Geist Beam is one of them. Unfortunately, the Pokemon that know those moves, uh, they are not. They don't have the ability synchronized, so you can't transfer their nature. So, you can kill him in one hit then, but then you just get a random nature. I want my shiny Mimikyu to be the right nature, so he's good for battling. And that is Adamant or Jolly. I'm going for Adamant. Alright, now that we got him down to 1 HP, you're going to switch in your final Pokemon. That's Umbreon. He's going to take care of the rest for you. If you're packing a lot of Lepa Berries, you're going to run out of moves. It's kind of a long process, but it's worth it. So now we got Umbria, you're gonna do Substitute, because they're also gonna keep doing Charm, and they're gonna bring your attack down to nothing. Like that. All right. So now that you got a Substitute out, you can just start uh, biting the second Pokemon that's out. I have double team on my Umbreon, uh, specifically for this Mimikyu, catching the shiny Mimikyu. Uh, just so when there's not a Mimikyu out there, I can do double team. Less chance they hit me. Less substitutes I gotta put out. Makes it easier. So, we'll take him out. Now I have a counter here to show ya. So, and then I killed one Mimikyu, so I mark it one. And I just keep marking it. Uh, you don't need to know that information. I like to know how many Mimikyu it took to get a shiny one. So, if you don't have a move like Double Team, you can just go ahead and keep using Adrenaline Orbs. You want to use one Adrenaline Orb at least, because that'll make it more likely they call a friend. And then now that we use an Adrenaline Orb, I'm going to use Double Team. Now all you do is keep killing the extra Mimikyu's and spamming double team in between, uh, curing your Pokemon, restoring your moves with Lepa Berries. Remember, you're going to have to hit every single one twice because they have Disguise. Again, annoying, but what's cooler than having a shiny Mimikyu? And because it's so hard to get a shiny Mimikyu, it makes it cooler to have one. Not a lot of people have them because they don't want to go through all this. So we killed another one. Gonna mark it. 
And what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to keep doing this for you guys until I find the shiny one, and then I'll show you what the counter's at, how many Mimikyu it took to get there. Uh, and that will be on the second part of the video. If you have any questions, post them up in the comments. Uh, and thanks guys for watching my video.